Hi everyone, hope you're okay. So today's lesson, we're gonna practice some more finding the missing angles in parallel lines. Okay, so they're gonna be slightly more complicated, the uh, shapes that we're looking at, and it might involve one set of parallel lines, it might involve two, okay, and it could be that there are more than one pair of parallel lines, so there could be three parallel lines in a row. Okay, it's not gonna make a difference to how you work them out, if there's only one set of parallel lines, then that is going to be different, but that's in my second example to show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through how to find the missing angles again in angles in parallel lines. And um, remembering that what I say to you is that you use your colours and you label as many as you can. Um, with these, we obviously found yesterday, just using the colours um, was much easier and once you know one is one colour, then the other is the other, and then there's it's repeated throughout the shape. So <clears throat> if we have a quick reminder here with the shapes, so they came together to look like this, okay? So obviously I can see that the opposites are the same here and here, and these two will always add up to 180. Okay, so if I'm looking at the shape that I've got in the first one and we're thinking about doing some colours, okay, so I'm going to colour in my 85 degree angle yellow, okay, I know that the one opposite it is going to be exactly the same, okay, so therefore the other ones in this shape are going to be my bluey green, okay, like this. So I know that these two are the same and these two are the same. So if I want to work the green ones out, I would do 180, take away 85, which is 95. So I know that the yellow angle is 85 and the green angle is 95. So how are we going to work out this angle over here? Well, because these lines are parallel and because these lines are parallel, this means this, how the... the colours are labelled on this one will be identical to the ones here. We can we can go through that. Um, <clears throat> so if I was doing it mimicking it here, so let's colour in all the yellow ones, it would be this one and this one. Okay, it would be this one and this one. And that's right because the opposites, if we look inside a parallelogram, are the same. Okay, so yellow and yellow there, therefore this one's yellow and this one's yellow. Okay, so I know all of those angles are 85 degrees. So now if I colour in the green ones, here and here, here and here, here and here. So therefore, the one that I actually want to work out, which is this one, is green, and I've already worked it out, so I know that the missing angle is 95. There is nothing wrong with you going through this diagram, putting in every single angle. So, like I'm going to do in red, I could have labelled all, sorry, that one should be 85, all my yellow angles 85. I could have done that, okay? You didn't have to, but you could if you wanted to. And the same with all the 95s, okay? So, the idea is, you use your colours and try and figure out as many of the angles as you can. And you always end up finding the one that you want, okay? Right, this shape is slightly different, okay? I have got two parallel lines, so I've got a pair of parallel lines. However, this time, these are not parallel. Therefore, I can't assume that these are the same and these are the same. So actually, there are two separate lots of angles on this one. So for this one, I'm gonna need four colors, okay? So what I've got to try and do is I've got to try and ignore one part, work out the other, and then work out the other part. So if I cover up this side here, what I've got is I've got two parallel lines and a line going through it. And I can do the same thing as I did on the first example. So if we said this angle here was yellow, this one's going to be yellow, so is this one, and so is this one, okay? Then I know that this one is going to be a different colour, so it's going to be green, and so is this one, so is this one, and so is this one. 
So now I know that the yellow angle is 105, I can work out the green one. I do 180, take away 105, which is 75. So all the green angles are 75, so therefore we found our missing one, which is this one here. Okay? When we come to do the other side now, this is a separate line. Okay, so I'm going to cover this one and we're just going to do the same thing, but I'm going to use different colours because obviously the yellow angles on this one are not the same as the yellow ones would be on this one. So I'm going to use two different colours now. So I'm going to colour the one I know in orange. Okay, and I know the one opposite is also orange. So that means I know that this one is orange. And I know that this one is orange. Okay, so let's do our other colours before we decide what our answer is. So this one would be purple, so would this one. And this one. And this one. Okay, so let's actually work out the purple one because I think that's a really important thing to do. So we know that they add up to 180, so 180 take away 120 is 60. So I know that the purple one is 60. That's not what I actually want to work out, but it's good to do. Because the angle that I want to know is this one here. And this one here would be the same as the orange one at the top. Sorry, 120. Okay, so there we go. I would have it looking like this because there are two separate lines. So what I want you to do now is I want you to have a go at the questions that I've set. Um, you don't have to do the extension. OK, you, you do need to copy out the questions into your book or print out the sheet and glue it in. But make sure you put all your colours on the diagrams and you answer the questions. OK, don't worry about reasons why. We're going to come on to that um, after half term. And um, the important skill right now is to be able to find the missing angles. OK, um, so make sure you upload your classwork for me. OK, and watch out for a message on Google Classroom about when we have our live lesson. I am going to do it tomorrow, so make sure you look out for the announcement. OK, see you later.